Alright, we're going to see how many chapters this story takes compared to the adventure in, in Los Angeles, California dealing with the fucking door lock on a Toyota truck. Uh, it is now it is now Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. A gloomy, depressing day in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the end times in the shithole city of Austin, Texas. So I left Garfield, Texas five hours ago. Five hours ago to come to this goddamn shithole town. And, uh, and so here, here was my goal. I had come by two days ago to make an appointment with my mechanic to uh, fix this door lock. All right, and so as long as I was here, I said, can we throw a new tire on the truck and have an oil change? So, and, and this is a mechanic I've been using for years, and, 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 and nothing I'm about to say means any disrespect to this man. So, uh, with, with that as my plan, I come in, 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 as we had arranged, I left my car this morning, I left my car uh, for five and a half hours, well, for four and a half hours, I left my car to uh, get a lock fixed, a tire changed, and an oil change. And what did I manage? What have I managed to do in five and a half fucking hours uh, in driving all the way into Austin? I have managed to get an oil change, is what I have managed with an entire day which would have taken about 15 fucking minutes at Quick Lube. And, and, and I supplied my own oil and filter. He didn't even have to find the oil and filter. I brought him to him. Uh, so let's see, the, the tire, guess what? The, the tire was supposed to be coming out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, the, this special tire, I guess. Uh, like, you can't find a fucking tire in the city of Austin, so he ordered a tire from Dallas, which is now supposed to be here on Friday. So I'm still driving this shitty tire, and I can tell just by the feel of the way this truck is driving that I need to stop again and put some more air in the son of a bitch. At least I could have filled up uh, this piece of shit that I've been riding on since Portland, Maine, I think is where I picked up this fucking tire. Uh, so now I need to go and put more air in this tire. Uh, but of course I'm not going to be able to come by the guy. And, and I've already paid for the tire. He's already gotten my money for the tire and the labor on it. And I said, well, there's no fucking way I can come by uh, before Christmas Eve. And I said, are you going to be here on Christmas Eve to change this goddamn tire out for me? Uh, well, uh, just come on by and maybe I'll be here. So there you go. Uh, maybe or maybe not a tire that I ordered two days ago. Let's see, so I ordered this tire on Monday, so maybe one week later, maybe one week later, if he is there on Christmas Eve, uh, he can actually change the tire out for me. So that was my tire story and the lock story. So obviously the lock was not fixed. And, uh, and I said, well, what's going on, brother? And, 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 he, goes, and, he, and he goes, well, I'm not a locksmith. I'm a mechanic. And I said, so why did you tell me you could fix the lock? And he goes, no, sir, that's not what I told you. He goes, what I told you was that I could fix your problem if it was not the lock. And uh, so 
he goes now he so he goes I can pop the lock out for you and and you can run it down to a locksmith and get a locksmith to key the you know to key the lock or do whatever on this fucking 15 year old part uh, with 250,000 miles and, and I said what the fuck are you talking about uh, th that I'm supposed to go now you're gonna give me the lock and I'm gonna run around and find a fucking locksmith to actually do the work on the lock and then I'm gonna bring it back to you and you're going to pop it back in the door for me I said is that what you're suggesting and he goes, well, yeah, that's what I suggested. And he goes, you got a better idea? And I said, yeah. I said, brother, I do have a better idea. I said, I'm just going to go on to fucking Amazon.com or wherever I need to go and get a fucking new lock. Uh, well, he goes, he goes, well, of course that means you're going to have to have a separate key that one of your doors is going to have one key. And I said, I don't give a fuck at this moment. I said, I will put it on my goddamn list of things to do, so now I need to track down a, uh, a, a new lock with its own key, get that fucking shipped to me on Amazon or across, over Christmas and New Year's. Uh, good God Almighty, like I don't have enough fucking things to do with my life. And uh, so once that gets shipped to me, then I will bring it back to him, leave my car yet another day for another five or six fucking hours uh, and whatever he's going to charge me to, uh, to, to change the locks out. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, so... I guess I, I misunderstood what some of my uh, troll, uh, my my troll subscribers were telling me about him, but it's not that hard to change a lockout. Uh, so maybe I'll just end up doing that myself if I'm ending up just getting the fucking. Uh, if I'm just gonna get the 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 new part with a new key, at that point. I might as well change the fucking thing out myself. Good God Almighty. So let's see, I have made now two trips to this guy. I have uh, left my car there for hours and hours uh, and found out that I got an oil change. That's what I have managed uh, so far. Jesus fucking Christ. And so then, of course, I said, well, I have five hours to kill. So uh, my friend was heading to Costco, and I made a video about my trip to Costco. And I said, yeah, I really want some of those goddamn egg rolls at Costco. So uh, I <coughs> went all the goddamn way to Costco, and they don't have egg rolls at Costco anymore. <coughs> so I didn't even get my fucking egg rolls. So that has been my day. So I'm flying past the Austin airport where my buddy Groot really says he really will. And he goes, Hambo, and I promise I really will be on the plane today. Uh, so I'm supposed to be back here in three hours to pick up Groot so we can get this goddamn tree uh, cut down in my yard. We will see, uh, we'll see if we're actually gonna make this happen. This will be my next adventure, is getting the goddamn tree cut down in my yard before it falls on my fucking house. But that was my day in the collapse of global industrial civilization. We will see where this story is going to go. Uh, you know, guys, it, it, it's shit like this that eats our fucking brain. I mean, what would I be doing? If, if I had like a quote real job, a, you know, if I was some goddamn wage slave uh, that, that had to be somewhere uh, all day uh, where I, you know, where I couldn't be running around all over fucking Austin, Texas going back and forth to a goddamn mechanic three times and I'll probably end up at just getting the fucking part from the, from the Toyota dealer 
probably be $200 uh, for a lock. Uh, good God. We're, we're, we're so completely fucked. Oh, Jesus. Here, here's, an, here, here's another 18-wheeler uh, full of SUVs going the other direction. I was coming down this very road. I was at this red light on the other side of the red light coming this side yesterday and there was an there was an 18 wheeler full of SUVs and now I'm at the same light going the other direction. Oh, smoke him if you got him guys. We are completely fucked, but at least the sun is coming out in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to head back to Garfield. Uh, for a few minutes of sanity in my garden before coming to the Austin airport for my next adventure. Bye, guys.